Our today's topic is bacterial conjunctivitis. Bacterial conjunctivitis is one of the most commonly encountered eye problems in medicine. Most cases are acute, self-limited, and not a major cause of morbidity. However, because of its high prevalence, it has a large societal impact in terms of missed days of school or work. Antibiotics can hasten the resolution of symptoms and microbial eradication and are therefore typically used to allow patients to return to their daily activities faster and to decrease the spread of disease. Chronic and hyperacute forms of bacterial conjunctivitis, typically due to chlamydia trachomatis and Neisseria, respectively, are entirely different entities that are associated with high levels of ocular and systemic morbidity. This page will focus primarily on acute forms of bacterial conjunctivitis. Bacterial conjunctivitis is an infection of the eye's mucous membrane, the conjunctiva, which extends from the back surface of the eyelids, palpebral and tarsal conjunctiva, into the fornices, and onto the globe, bulbar conjunctiva, until it fuses with the cornea at the limbus. Acute bacterial conjunctivitis is primary due to Staphylococcus aureus, Streptococcus pneumoniae, and Haemophilus influenzae. Other pathogens responsible for acute disease are Pseudomonas aeruginosa, Moraxella lacuniata, Streptococcus viridens, and Proteus mirabilis. These organisms may be spread from hand to eye contact or through adjacent mucosal tissues colonization such as nasal or sinus mucosa. Hyperacute conjunctivitis is primarily due to Neisseria gonorrhoeae, which is a sexually transmitted disease. Neisseria meningitidis is also in the differential and is important to consider as it can lead to potentially fatal meningeal or systemic infection. Chronic conjunctivitis is primarily due to chlamydia trachomatis. However, chronically ill, debilitated, or hospital patients can become colonized with other virulent bacteria responsible for chronic conjunctivitis. Staphylococcus aureus and Moraxella lacuniata may also cause chronic conjunctivitis in patients with associated blepharitis. Risk factors, since these bacteria are usually spread from other infected individuals, poor hygienic habits may increase the risk of infection. Poor contact lens hygiene. Contaminated cosmetics. Crowded living or social conditions such elementary schools, military barracks etc. Ocular diseases including dry eye, blepharitis, and anatomic abnormalities of the ocular surface and lids. Recent ocular surgery, exposed sutures or ocular foreign bodies. Chronic use of topical medications. Immune compromise. Neonates are at particularly high risk for conjunctivitis, and this entity is discussed elsewhere in the neonatal conjunctivitis article. Patients may complain of redness, discharge, crusting and sticking or gluing of the eyelids upon waking, blurry vision, light sensitivity, and irritation. Symptoms, red eye, either unilateral, bilateral, or sequentially bilateral. Discharge, classically purulent, but may be thin or thick muca purulent or watery. Irritation, burning, stinging, discomfort. Tearing. Light sensitivity. Intolerance to contact lens. Fluctuating or decreased vision. Signs, bulbar conjunctival injection. Palpebral conjunctival papillary reaction. Muca purulent or watery discharge. Chemosis. Lid erythema. Diagnostic procedures, gram stain and cultures, primarily used in cases of atypical conjunctivitis such as hyperacute or chronic, non-responding. Also important in neonatal. There has not been a role for these tests in routine cases due to the cost and high likelihood of success with either empiric treatment or observation. RPS adeno detector may be used to establish diagnosis of viral conjunctivitis instead of bacterial. Management, almost all cases of acute bacterial conjunctivitis are self-limited and will clear within 10 days without treatment. However, there are some more virulent organisms which may go on to cause chronic colonization and symptoms. Furthermore, antibiotic treatment has been shown to decrease the duration of symptoms and speed the eradication of microorganisms from the conjunctival surface. General treatment, bacterial conjunctivitis is a contagious condition, so patients are instructed in proper hygiene and hand washing. The exact period of time of contagion cannot be predicted and the amount of time suggested varies, with a recent survey of ophthalmologists recommending one to three days away from work or until the infection clears. Supportive therapy for conjunctivitis consists of cool compresses and artificial tears two six times daily. 
Medical therapy antibiotics may lead to quicker clinical and microbiological remission compared with placebo, at least in the first two to five days of therapy. This may result in decreased transmission of the disease and lower incidences within the population. Many antibiotics have been shown to be equivalent in the treatment of routine cases, and therefore the choice of antibiotics is often guided by cost, availability, and risk of side effects. Medical follow-up. Since the vast majority of cases run a benign course, most patients are given medication and then told to return for follow-up only if there is worsening or no improvement in symptoms. Patients diagnosed with chlamydia and Neisseria gonorrhoeae need to inform their partners and sexual contacts about their diagnosis so that they can be treated and reinfection avoided.